Hello, my name is Angelica Howard, and I'm going to be making red rice and beans with chicken. First, you're going to add a few spoonfuls of sofrito. And on top of the sofrito, you're going to add a one packet of sazon. You're gonna add a little sprinkle of salt and then once you have the sprinkle of salt you mix it all together I like to put the heat on two or three just to heat up the sofrito a little bit now I'm gonna be turning my heat to high because we're going to start adding everything else. Now the sofrito and sazon is cooking, we're going to add two cups of rice and we're going to blend them very well together to make sure the rice is very orange. Now we're going to add the Goya brand small red beans and we're going to mix that together. Now we're going to get ready to add a little bit of water to the rice, enough to cover the rice, not too much. Now it's time to add our seasonings. I'm putting adobo, garlic powder oregano, cilantro leaves, a little bit of pepper, and a little bit of onion powder. After you do this, once the water is absorbed in the rice, you move the heat to two or three. We're gonna let it cook for about 15 minutes, but check in between and mix it. Aside from the rice and baked chicken, I'm making tater tots and green beans. Now it's time to prepare the chicken. I have my oven set to 350, and usually I cook chicken for an hour, but if you want to make it more crispier, you cook it for an extra 20 to 30 minutes.
Okay, now we're gonna add the seasonings to the chicken. We're gonna add adobo, sazon, oregano, cilantro leaves, garlic powder, onion powder, and some pepper. Right here I'm adding the blue bonnet butter. We're gonna put like a half a tablespoon or a tablespoon on top to give it a buttery flavor. Cut some bell peppers to fill on top, and now my chicken is ready for the oven. Now our rice is completed.
After cooking for an hour and 20 minutes, the chicken's done. And here's our meal. That's it, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. Love you. Have a great day.